going on, everybody? It's your boy Aaron. Uh, just, I just got home from work. Uh, but the Lord, when I was on my downtime at work, the Lord put this on my heart. He wants me to give y'all some encouragement. You know what I'm saying? You know? And I, I don't know who this is for, but for those who, who clicked on this video, this is for you. The Lord told me, if you're going through something, or if you're worrying about something, don't be worrisome. Don't worry about it. You know? Why? Because remember this. The Lord is with you. The Lord, he's with, he's with you wherever you go. You know? All you got to do is pray. Pray to Jesus. Seriously. You know? Because he wants the best from you. You know? He wants to see you happy. He wants to see you succeed at, at whatever you're trying to like succeed at. Bible, like in uh, Joshua 1 9, one of, one of my favorite verses. This is the KJV version, King James. It says, Have not I commanded thee, be strong and of good courage. Be not afraid, neither be, neither be thou dismayed, for the Lord God is with thee, is with you wherever you go, basically. So remember, Even if, even if you're not a believer or an atheist, whatever, he's still with you. Wherever you go, doesn't matter. You know what I'm saying? Now, let me give you a good example. You know, like, I remember one time at work, you know, I was just going through stuff, you know, like, you know, just like, it was, it, it was just a bad day at work, you know what I'm saying? But the Lord reminded me, you know, don't worry, I'm with you. Just come to me, pray to me, I'll make sure everything will, will go smooth, as, as smooth as possible, you know? And I felt that, you know, because I know, like, that was him. You know what I mean? <clears throat> and, uh, you know, so I, I just prayed, you know, I, I asked the Father, like, Father God, please just fulfill me with the Holy Spirit, you know, like, just fulfill me, you know, just give me that peace, you know, so I don't, I don't want to stress all day, you know what I'm saying, and next thing you know, you know, he was testing my faith, because, because that's what he does first, he will test your faith, you know what I'm saying, remember, and me, I have, my faith is, 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 is so strong, like, with the Lord, like, it's, 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 it's real strong, because I know, because I know that he will do that for me. I know he will give me that peace. You want to know why? Because he's the only one that surprised the understand. You know? He's he's the Prince of Peace. You know? I'm not going to nobody else. I'm going, to, I'm going straight to Jesus, strictly. You know what I'm saying? Because he has that power to give me, like, to, keep, to give me, like, that peace. You know what I'm saying? Oh, man. Another thing that, that the Lord put on my heart, you know, is right now in, in these last days, just be ready. Be ready. You know what I'm saying? Especially, uh, especially for my, like, for my believers, or well, not my, but His believers, us as believers, just be ready. Just continue on for, for those who are following Christ, you know, for, for those who are walking like in His walk. You know, just continue on doing like that just every day just wake up put on the armor by the of god and just just be ready you know because it's, it's, it's about to get real bad out here and like i said before in other videos you know i think this year 2022 like like i said before i think this is it i'm not setting dates i'm not a day setter i'm really not you know but i think this is it because i think 2000 like 2020, you know, I think that was the beginning, like the beginning of the, of the end. Because remember, the end is not near. The end is here right now. And there's a lot of y'all like that are blind. They're like they're, they're, there's a lot of y'all that are like lukewarm. Seriously. And God is trying to open your eyes. He's trying to wake you guys up. Like, do you see like what's going on? Like, out here now there's a new virus coming and people are, are, are not paying attention 
and this is another judgment like from God. It's called, I think, like, like I said, I think it's called like Omicron or Omri Khan, however you pronounce it. But that one is deadly. You know, so for those, you still, if you if, if if you're not ready, you know, you better, boy, well, you better be stocked up and ready and, and be ready with like 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 for this one because the first one was just a test. The first one was just a test. You know, to see well, how many people will actually, will actually come to God. Will actually, because the first one, that brought everybody together. That, that brought families together from God. Because, it, because God, like, like I said, God was giving everybody a chance. Everybody a chance to come to Him, to turn away from the wicked ways, to turn away from, like, from this world. You know? Because God, you know, He ain't playing no more. He, he ain't playing no more. Because he is sick and tired of everybody keep following Satan's image, you know. He's tired of it. So, you know, I'm just coming from me and from the Lord above, upstairs. Come to Jesus. Like I said, he is the only way. He's the only way to help you to get through anything. He's the only way to get to heaven. He's the only way to get to God. He is the only way to get like to the kingdom. If you try to go get to the kingdom or try, or, or try like come to God or trying to go to heaven in any other way, it ain't gonna work. You ain't nothing but a thief and a robber in Jesus' name. You know what I'm saying? But for those who are really trying to seek God, you know what I'm saying? Keep seeking Him. And remember, just like in Matthew 6, 33, keep seeking God and all and all things should be added on to you. So keep going. Don't give up. But remember, the number one key is to have faith. Because that's the first thing He's going to test you with. That's the first thing He's going to is that faith believe in him that he will do that for you you know because he's not just going to give you he's not just going to give it to you like, like that and that's why everybody goes to the devil you know because he'll give it to you like just like that but it'll come like with a cost and it ain't good but with God it's worth it because yeah, he'll give it to you, but you know you, you, you don't have to go walk through this walk, you know, to, like walk through the storm, you know. And at the end of the tunnel, there's light, and then bingo, there goes your blessing, and it's worth it. And your faith will be stronger than what it was before, you know. Uh, and me. Let me tell y'all something. And it, like, like I said, this is it. What I believe. Maybe not. Maybe we got an, like another year. You know? But I believe in pre-tribulation. Being rapture of uh, like tribulation. And I'm going to tell you why. And it's very simple. Because why would God want his believers? Seriously. Just think about it. Right now, just think about it. Why would God want his believers go through that? Go through the, the, the great tribulation. Because right now, because right now we're going through tribulation, you know, trial and tribulation, but the great tribulation is what's coming. Basically, hell on earth, or basically, a better way to say it, God's wrath on the people that are still lukewarm, on people that still don't want to turn away from, like, from the wicked ways, people that still don't want to turn away from Satan's image, on people that, that still want to sin, still want to do all this fornication, adultery. Everything that's disobedient to God, everything, you know. So, like I said, why would God want want His people go uh, through the Great Tribulation? Just the believers, you know. That's why, as soon as as we go up, Saint falls right down here, back like on this planet. He, and when he 
comes down, he's gonna be, you know, tormenting uh, the unbelievers, lukewarm people, for seven years. You know. And I'm not, I'm not trying to scare y'all or anything. I'm just trying to wake some up, not some, all you guys up. Because listen, you do not want to go through. I'm telling you, it's like, like I said before, like in my last video, the great tribulation. The Great Tribulation. And the reason why it's called the Great Tribulation, because it's, this is going to be the most horrific time on this planet. Any past, current, like, terrible event that has ever, that has, has ever, ever happened on this planet, this is going to be the worst one. That's why God said this is, this time is only going to, it's only, it's only going to come one time, like, on this planet. One time, because that's how bad it is. You know, so boy, man. So to escape that, come to Jesus. You know, repent daily. Ask for ask for for forgiveness every day. Pray every day. Make it a habit. You know, and stay away from all the sinful things. Just. Because, because remember, because remember, when the devil sees you, when, when the devil sees you do like trying, like trying to do good, like trying, like trying to come to Christ, trying to change your life, he will come in and attack you. He will come in and try to like he will do something to distract you from from lead like from like to uh, what's the word? What's the word to uh, to lead you astray? And that's where you, as a human being, as a follower in Christ, got to attack back. You know, rebuke him. Because remember, the demons tremble at the name of Jesus. They, they, they flee away. Man. So yeah, yeah, I just want to come on here real quick because the Lord told me like to make this video. Just please come to Jesus. Like I said, come to Jesus. He's the only way. He's the only way. He can save you right now. He can save you right now, as I'm speak as uh, as I'm speaking to you, because he loves you and he does not want to see you perish. He does not see you want like, want to get uh, left behind. He wants you to have a, a glorified body that just like him. He wants you to have that, e that eternal life with him, like up in heaven. He wants you to see you happy. He wants to see you like just have, have like full of joy. He does not want to see you down there. Mm -mm. Because whenever he sees you down there, it breaks his heart. It really does. It breaks his heart. Because you could have had all of that. But no, you continue on with sin. You know? But yeah, y'all stay encouraged. Y'all be blessed. Just come to Jesus. I hope y'all do. You know, just do what we can just to, to, to get saved because the great tribulation is near and the rapture is like you're right at the door. Like I said, we don't know because he's going to come like a thief in the night, just like that. With a twinkling of an eye, we'll be, like, we'll be changed. Mm. So remember, repent, pray, read your Bibles every day. At least spend like an hour or two, you know, or read one or two or three or three chapters a day, you know, because God wants to spend time with you, you know, really, he really does. So I love y'all, stay encouraged, and be blessed in Jesus' name.